bed and I'm 88. And I was born on the last day of the year, 1927, in a snowstorm, and my father delivered me because it was too snowy for the doctors to get there. Well, as a little girl, I was evacuated to the country because bombs were dropping. Our house was bombed four times in, in the war. So I was um, just 11. And so um, my father was um, in charge of prisoners of war camp in the um, last war, um, and uh, because he could speak German. He was in the army, but he was seconded to the Royal Air Force in um, 1916. And so he was one of the first pilots in the world. And so um, my father was up in Liverpool, and my mother slept under the dining room table in London. And we were, as the three children, were all evacuated to different parts of the country. It trained one to be very independent because when you get sent away at age 10 um, and you're living with other people, you just learn to cope for yourself. And we had to um, uh, sleep in a dormitory of about uh, 11 of us on, a very, on camp beds and a very thin mattresses. But we had brilliant teachers and I'm forever grateful for that. I've always loved teaching and telling stories. In fact, I think I was born to do it. I've been here since 1958. I intended to teach, and um, I did the first lot um, on Vancouver Island, and then I moved to Crofton House, and um, they offered me the headship of the junior school, and so I stayed. But I've, I've loved telling stories. That's been my gift as a teacher. And I've used um, puppets and I'm able to capture their attention in a captivating way. But I took a sabbatical um, in 67 when I was still um, not even 40 and uh, went round the world by myself. And I'm so grateful that I wrote a journal but I can relive it all now and think, oh yes, my goodness, you were brave, heavens. You really did have a lot of adventures. I like giving back to people and um, helping people. My mother um, was marvellous at helping all the um, homeless people and the down and outs. And even when I was about six and seven, I was taken to these places. It was a mission in a very, very poor part of London. And we'd take them food and we'd take them um, clothes that my mother had mended. And we were very much taught that, OK, you are privileged now. You be kind, you know, care for other people. But I've had a wonderful life and I'm very grateful for it. I learn two poems a week, so I still know hundreds, which is quite useful. Good afternoon, so smash them up. I'm having tea. Do take a cup. Sugar and milk. Now let me see. Two lumps, I think. Good gracious me. The silly thing slipped off your knee. Pray don't apologise, old chap. A very trivial mishap. So clumsy of you, how absurd. My dear, so smash not a word. Okay, bye.